And for camera purposes, I'm going to say one more time. You are now listening to A Moment with Purple, 88.1 FM, baby. We're doing big, big things. And in case you didn't know, in case you possibly missed it, we got Mel Austin Jr. in the building. Philly's own R&B kroner. Mel, all right, Mel, you know, right in the middle of the show. Here. Can I get another quick acapella? Just anything. It's like a two-liner. Yeah, two-liner. You know? Yeah, that's. Uh, you know, so we, there we go. That's what we do. It's a moment purple. We do underground R&B here. Some science and math. Okay, let's go. Touching your body is a science, and I wanna learn you. Just get you open like a textbook. Your pages I turn through. It's a chemistry that instantly unfolds true. Your anatomy is a knowledge I want to hold on to. Wow, wow, wow. Science and math. Wait, science and math. Give a point. Ready? One, two, three. Don't be Tommy. No. Clap for Mel Austin no. with the clapper. No problem. All right, all right. So, okay, guys. Okay. Now, I have to ask um, Mel, what inspired you to want to be a singer? When when did you get that the confidence to be a singer? When you say, okay, you know what? It's Mel Austin Jr. It's R and B. It's real for me. Uh, this lady I dated when I was when Maybe I was dating you a dated girlfriend. Her girlfriend. Are you sure? Yeah, right. Okay. She was driving oh, a cradle. Oh, 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 so she said I should try out for a play, which was like a musical. Okay. So I tried out, you know what I mean? I got like the lead role, and then uh, we did the play like three or four times. Mm -hmm. And then after that, people was like, wow, you wow. saying, you know, you should, you should probably, you know, do a little more with it. You know, I said, I'm going to see, you know what I mean? So, you know, I started hooking up with some cats who was doing instrumentals. And then, like, from there, uh, actually, actually, my man that's out in D.C., my man Lee, uh, who I went to Howard with. Right. He said, like, the CD with, like, Thank you. like, oh, wow. 15 instrumentals on the CD. So, like, I said, you know what I mean? I got to listen to the joints, and I'm like, man, maybe I can do this. So I started to write. And from there, you know, I started writing more, you know what I mean? Linking up with some cats who was into the industry already, you know what I mean? Like, writing and production, things of that nature. Okay. And we started putting out his together. Wow. You know what I mean? Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing, yes, because you are a very extremely talented artist. Thank you. And you know, we definitely love your music here on the one with purple. And don't tell me, what's your first video? You have a couple videos out right now. What was uh, your first video? The first one is called Pretty Poison. Okay. Uh shout out to Willie Stone on that Circle Crew. And uh that joint we actually shot at the Trocadero. Okay. Uh, it, it, it was doing like a live show. So, you know what I mean? It's basically about that woman that you want to be with but don't need to be with, mm -hmm. that, that poison. That pretty poison. You know how that go. Everybody got it. I mean, women got their poison and men. Mm -hmm. you know, men got our poison, so. I love it. I mean, it's one of them joints. But yeah, that, that was a Watch it, it's a brick coming through the window. <laughs> now, tell me, like, as an independent artist, you know, we, we you have to know as an independent artist that your viral game needs to be like turned all the way up. Yeah. So that means that your YouTube has to be popping, your every social media that you're on. And as I say this last week, I'll say it again this week, the difference of you being a hobbyist and an artist is, you know, do you have a video or not? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like that serious. So now with this age of YouTube and YouTube views, of, are your YouTube views up? Is it hard to get people to legitimately look at your YouTube video? You know, how does the campaign really have to go? Like, is it all hands on yourself? You know, uh, how do you get a team involved? You know, yeah, tell me yeah, about the independent uh, struggle. Um, you definitely need a team. Like, you need a group of individuals that you are either already working with, um, cats that believe in your vision and what you're doing. You know what I mean? Basically just getting at them, like, you know, support me, I support you. Mm -hmm. seem, I mean, for the most part, what I've been doing, I've been linking with cats that's been doing it already, and we've been, like, working together. Like, I may work with, like, uh, three, write, three um, writers on a song, and then you got the producer, then you got a couple cats who's shooting the video. So you got, like, seven to eight people involved right there that's all promoting, just off the strength of them being involved. Like, yo, you're involved in this, you know what I mean? Promote your work, let's all, you know what I mean, do it together. Get it together. You know what I mean? But then it is kind of tough with the YouTubers, like, you know, you get people there, 
But then you got all these things where people may not be as patient. Like they'll just go out and pay for views, right. pay for likes, right. pay but for comments. I'm like, yeah. Right. But there are so many. There are so many uh, crews. Let's say, let's call them crews right now. There's so many crews who who promote themselves as being one of these crews who have video. You know, somebody does the videos, and you know, somebody does the writing and production, and you know, they got one crew. But what Hold on guys, uh, we have a caller that wants to participate in this conversation. You know how we do. I guess the answer first, right? 88.1 FM, thank you for calling. I'm on with Purple. You're tuned in to Mel Austin Jr. You want to give a shout out or talk about the topic of, uh, what are we talking about again? Yes, you <laughs> Independent <laughs> artists and YouTube views. How are you? We're really, really great. Thank you. What's your name? We love you, Liz. Thanks for listening. You want to give a shout out or participate in the conversation? So, who are you giving a shout out to? Oh, you know what? I think I hung up on her by accident. You need to leave. All right, I'm going to stop touching the phone. We love you, Liz. Liz, can you please call back because it was an accident. Leave the phone alone. I need my answer. Can somebody tell me if I can give an answer? I, I, I mean, I just don't get it. Like, what makes you reach over there and start pushing buttons <laughs> when somebody's on the phone? Trying to get on the speaker phone. Like, <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Look, 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 look. Can, Y'all can hear the, the caller in your earphones, right? So why reach but over there? Because. Because? I have an excuse. Because I want the cameras. We had to pick up the call. And they can't pick up the call if I don't put it on speaker, too. But you don't know how to put it on speaker. So, you know. Now I learned. Like, I started from Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so This will be the last time that I take a voice. All right. I'm going to let you do it. But can you put it on speaker this time, too? Can you put it on speaker? Don't you tell me. Now, 88.1 FM. Is this Liz? Yes, you cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> Liz, I'm, I apologize to the 50 million percent. I'm learning the phones here, okay? So thank, okay. thank you for being patient with me. Now, did you want to give a shout out or did you want to talk about the whole, how hard it is for independent artists on the grind today? Um, I wanted to talk about how hard it may be today, but I want to encourage him to keep the faith and just believe God will move him forward in his purpose and destiny. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate thank that. You. Yeah, God is. I wanted to ask, her, how old are you? Mm, I'm uh, 32. 32. Okay. In music, we do not disclose our age. <laughs> <laughs> back up, back up, hold up, back up. You said this is your purpose and your destiny, and you were called to do this. Yes. Okay. So now you know you have to persevere and just believe that things may take time and it's a process, but you got to keep on keeping on. Yes. My call is to encourage you. Appreciate that. Woo. We love that. We love that so much. Thank you so much, Liz. We love that. You know, we want to encourage the world to believe in God. If you have a dream, follow it. Chase your dream. Would you agree? Yes. Yes. Have yes. you got any shout outs you want to give? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to Terrence. Okay, I'm sorry. Do you want to give any purple hugs and kisses that you want to give out? We don't give shout outs. I apologize. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Then I understand. So you want to say purple hugs and kisses to who? Terrence. All right. Well, purple hugs and kisses to Terrence. Thank you so much. Can you tell out the world to tune into our show every Friday from 4 to 6, okay? Okay. Keep fighting. Good fight of faith. Thank you. That's right. Thank All you right. for calling in. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Thank you. Yes, exactly. I feel inspired. I feel inspired for you. Do you feel inspired for yourself? Pretty much. <laughs> Kaya, what you want to say, Kaya? What artist has like inspired you, like to sing, or, like you uh, came up with? I would say I was big on D'Angelo, uh, Maxwell. I was actually big on Erica Badu too. Woo -hoo. Shout out to Philly, Jeanne, yeah. Jill Scott, yes. Music Soul, Child. Thank God you ain't wearing no blonde wig right now. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come? Speaking of which, in case you guys didn't know, we have to cut. I spent the moments of my life on July 4th weekend with her ex, Common! Yes, Lord, Lord. To every man in this room, how does that just sound right now? <laughs> 
her. I just was with her ex. I was with her ex. This is true. I was just stating the fact. I was talking about this ex. We were in the we were at the roof. Um, by the way, in case I didn't get a chance to, to, to specify, I spent the July Fourth weekend at the July Fourth uh, celebration in the Parkway. And I was back there with Common. That's why you see all the pictures. Um, Elise yeah, Neal, Ch Chanel Neal, I don't know the other girl's name. A bunch of wonderful people who happen to make a lot of money in the industry. All Talk right. The housewives? No, no, not from the housewives. From um. Basketball wives or something? No, no. You said Shawnee O'Neal. The girl, not Shawnee O'Neal. She, she played oh. on uh, she played, one, one of the Tyler Perry movies. Yes. She oh. played the, the girl who looks like Laura mm -hmm. London, but she's not. But she's an actress. You got the chat around it. I'm gonna put up the picture so you all can see. Matter of fact, follow me on Instagram at I am Purple Queen. That's what they said. I was just going off of it. That's what they said there. But um, and um, Common was there. He was so sweet and he took pictures and he talked to us. He kicked it. You know, he had to go to the potty and the Roots um trailer was the only one that had a working potty. Men don't go to the potty. Common had to go to the potty. He had to go to the potty and I let him go to the potty. And guess what? This is so embarrassing, right? So this girl, right? Um, shout out to a purple house kids the co-op, right? Co-op was there. He brought his girlfriend with him. Or a girl. I'm not going to say it was the girl, right? So she got to use the bathroom, right? Co-op will be girl in this. So we're in the Roots room, right? We're in the Roots trailer. It's all air conditioned. It's popping. You know what I'm saying? His kids in there. Like his Target's kids. Everybody's in there. She goes to the bathroom. She's in the bathroom forever. Yo, and Connor coming and need to go to the bathroom. And she's just in there. She's in there. I'm like, okay, okay. Did she give a courtesy flush? Yo, I knocked. So we started yeah, knocking right? on the door. You know what I mean? Connor got to use the bathroom. Yeah. So we knocking on the door like, get out of there. What's happening? Right? She's looking forever. Then she come out and everybody looking at her. The whole room was looking at her when she come out the bathroom. You know? Yeah. I said she must have been the most embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? How was you holding up Connor from going to the bathroom? And then you was in there so long. You had to be thinking of that. She had the bubble gun. She had to be thinking of that. She had the bubble gun. <laughs> So Carmen had to go in after her. I know she, she had to shoot in her purse. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she didn't want to introduce herself or nothing. Uh -oh. She didn't want him to know her name or nothing. So um, her husband is the uh, co-op. <laughs> <laughs> She graduated from PU. <laughs> <laughs> so, for why the kids to co out, um, Dice for all for having us out. Z from the Bruce, thanks for having us out. You know, they, they definitely rock out with us really, really heavy. That's, That's why Dice for all is starring our July 29th Bat Cave Radio, The Underground Baby. So, make sure you check us out. I'm going to be at Dobbs on July 29th. I'm going to be at Dobbs on August 5th for Radio Live with um, Headbanger TV and Fred Holman. And, um, 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 also, I'm going to be at uh, Love Park, July 19th, where all of you should be. And we are working on a very, very big West Philly day party. Yes. Yes, here in Philly at Mount Rose King Park. We are really, really working really hard on this. We want you all to support it. It's going to be big, big, big. So we got like... And our theme song... It's going to be... It's going to be... Dreamer. Dreamer. Uh, Matter of fact, <laughs> let's get into Dreamer right now. Listen, this is a song in case you don't know. I this is one of my favorite songs. I don't care. I've been playing it for months, almost a year now, right? Mm -hmm. And it is as relevant as it was 12 months ago as it is today. I want all of you guys to be inspired. Listen to the song. Go to iTunes or Mel Austin on YouTube and Twitter. Get the song, download it, support it, support this independent artist. Making ways in the city of Philadelphia. We're gonna get into his joint. It's called Dreamer. You're gonna know why I love this song so much. And yes, I am gonna come in and out of the song singing with the song. So when you hear the bad singing, it's me, and the good singing is Mel. All right, just so you know, just so you'll be like, yo, that sounds horrible. Because it might. It might. It might. What's that for? You ready? I never knew that talking was on there. Oh. <laughs> I never knew that then. That's, uh, that's, me, that's me watching the news. No, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm working over here. I had no idea that he had an intro. <laughs> Please, Vitaly. All right. Ready? Yes. Here we go. Mel Austin Jr. Dreamer. Dreamer. 